bioquantum skincare is breaking quantum physics. Why do we age? Have you ever felt on an innate level that we're not supposed to age or that we should be able to heal instantly? I have been biohacking since about the age of 13. I started biohacking before I even knew what biohacking was. And it's something that I've committed to my entire life. Watching the body on a bioquantum level has been an obsession of mine since I can remember. What I want to invite you into is seeing aging from a different perspective and knowing that we actually can tap in to that innate knowing that we're not supposed to age. So why are we connecting this to skincare? Skincare, the bioquantum skincare, is a delivery system. We all know that aging is connected to cell mutation. But why, after all the advancement and all of the knowledge that we have for the human body, are we still aging? This is the journey that I want to take you on, because the truth is we're not supposed to age, and that we have an intelligence stored within our DNA that we all can begin to tap into and break the looping cycle of age and disease. Bioquantum skincare is the invitation to break quantum physics. So how do we break the looping cycle of age and disease? It's by tapping in to an intelligence that's stored in the DNA. By tapping into this intelligence, we begin to turn on very specific codes or information that's stored there. That innate knowing that we're not supposed to age, this comes from this intelligence that's already within each and every one of us. For some of you, this may be a little out there or a little woo. But what I want to invite you into is seeing beyond what's already been observed. Science is observing the body, how the cells work. But there's something that's very limiting about observation. Because we are observing the very form that we're trying to break free from. If we are consistently observing what has already been created, we are consistently creating a loop through that observation. So by turning on an intelligence that's stored in the DNA, we begin to break the looping cycle of age and disease. So what does this have to do with skincare? Well, the bioquantum skincare is holding an advanced technology that is going to start to turn on those dormant codes. We can use the skin because one, it's the biggest organ, but two, it is also the one that we are consistently in observation of. So by training the cells to turn on the expression of a stored intelligence within us, we begin to break the looping cycle of even observation. So that is the journey that I would like to take you on. We're going to go into what it is to break quantum physics through the bioquantum skincare. As a bioquantum teacher and practitioner, intentional molecular creation is definitely a passion of mine. And how do we do this? Through cellular alchemy. This is a big part of the bioquantum skincare line. We're starting to microdose DMT. So what does that mean? Well, DMT is decoding molecular technology. It's starting to decode that intelligence that's starting to turn on in every single one of us. By using the bioquantum skincare line, we are speeding up or accelerating by microdosing DMT through the skin. This is a different technology. This isn't just skincare line. This is truly advancing what it is to be human. We're starting to turn on the other 90% of our potential that's just waiting 
to be experienced. This is my biggest passion, becoming 100% human potential. And the BioQuantum Skincare Line is a simple tool that we all can use to experience what it's like to microdose DMT. The BioQuantum Accelerated Skincare products are created through the science of biohacking to boost mitochondria health and turn off epigenetic codes. We partnered with some of the best scientists and chemists that are formulating skincare with patented ingredients based on the science of cell division. You're going to get a med science grade with our BioQuantum line, and it truly is something to be experienced. Not only are we using the best ingredients, the ones that are creating and restoring cell health, but we are also advancing all of these ingredients through the Evolution Skincare Technology. The Evolution Technology is where science begins to meet cellular alchemy. It is a mapping system that holds scalar waves that are working with the cells through the, use of the intelligence of the scalar waves in order to turn on those dormant DNA codes, or DMT, decoding molecular technology. Every single product in our BioQuantum line is using the evolution technology. The evolution technology does hold a consciousness, and this consciousness is connected to the skincare. This is why we call it conscious living skincare. The evolution technology holds the ability to deliver frequencies over a 12-hour period of time. Working with the ingredients over this 12 hours allows your skin to consistently be given the frequencies to divide in a healthier state. Over time, as the DMT is turned on, the cell will start to function through the expression of the intelligence that is stored within the DNA. This is what we are seeing as the advanced human, and we are all starting to experience just what this is. So yes, this is cellular alchemy, and as a bioquantum practitioner, it is something that I love to experience for myself. And all we're doing is inviting you to into this experience to see what it's like to bring science into cellular alchemy and start to experience that dormant DNA or the intelligence that is already turning on inside of you. Now we're moving into one of my favorite ingredients, and that is Ormus. Ormus stands for Orbited Rearranged Unidentified Substance. Another name for it is Orme, which is Orbited Rearranged Monoatomic Element. A monoatomic element is an element that's in a spin state, meaning that is always moving. And what that it does for our body is it brings in life force energy that improves overall health. It's hard for scientists to actually study an Ormus element, but what's not hard to study is what it's doing for the body. So some of the things that have been studied is that Ormus actually extends telomere length. It activates higher consciousness, it improves overall healing, and definitely improves focus. When we're bringing Ormus into the skin, by adding a couple of drops to the BioQuantum Skin Care line with our Ormus 33 activator, we are bringing all of the cells into a higher spin state. When we do this, the body begins to raise in frequency. Our cells begin to raise in frequency. When the body is holding a higher frequency, it is activating higher consciousness. When our body is holding higher consciousness, we feel better. But all of this has been do being done through the cells on a cellular level by activating that intelligence that's stored in the DNA. Ormus supports this intelligence by connecting consciousness to it. Now it's time to put it all together. When we combine the BioQuantum skincare evolution technology and Ormus all in one, a bridge between science and cellular alchemy is created.
Human DNA holds the ability to tap into a telepathic technology that decodes and reprograms limiting belief systems into unlimited potential, both on a cellular and a conscious level. The body is the most advanced technology that exists, and it's only been operating at about 10 to 15% of its potential. If we activate the other 90%, we become the advanced human. So what exactly are these products doing? The consciousness held in the bioquantum skincare is a DMT activator. When we reprogram the cells to operate outside of the looping cycle of age and disease, an intelligence awakens in the body. DMT is the foundation of the evolved human experience. Bioquantum skincare is a delivery system of DMT, molecular technology, that acts like a key to unlocking 100% human potential. As we break free from the leaping cycles of the body, mind, and agreements of what it is to be in the reality that we've already created, we begin to break quantum physics. And that's what I want to invite you into now. What does it really mean to break quantum physics? What does it mean to break quantum physics? That seems like an odd thing to say, considering quantum physics is now proving what the gurus have been teaching for over a thousand years. But what if I told you, no matter how far we go into the quantum field, we're still observing the matrix. About a year ago, a really good friend of our family's, Vale, passed away on his 22nd birthday. A few days after he passed away, he came to me. And the very first thing he said, was it's not supposed to be this way. We're not supposed to die. And I knew what he was saying was true because I've been studying the body for 30 years on a quantum level. And what I've learned in those 30 years is that the body is stuck in a looping cycle of age and disease. And this looping cycle can be broken. He had me take out a piece of paper and a pencil and I started writing out very specific equations. And these equations were how to take the body out of the leaping cycle of age and disease. And I have to say, I didn't understand everything that he was saying, but one thing I did understand, and that's what I wanna share with you today. So what Vale showed me was that when we are born and when we pass away, there's a chemical that's released, and most of us know what this chemical is, DMT. But what he showed me was that there's a frequency that is connected to this chemical. And that frequency is pure source intelligence. And this intelligence is who we are at our innate level. And this intelligence is transcribed into the DNA when we are born and then when we pass away, that same frequency releases and we move back into our innate being. So how do we break quantum physics? We begin to reprogram our cells. Why would we wanna reprogram the cells and not the mind? Well, when we start to reprogram on a cellular level, we begin to release this intelligence. And this intelligence is a frequency. And when that frequency is released into the body, our consciousness begins to attune to it. Our consciousness begins to match this intelligence. So when we reprogram on a cellular level, we are bypassing subconscious. We are bypassing the part of us that's an observation of programmed reality. You could even say we bypass the ego because the ego is the part of us that has to be an observation in order to exist. But the true nature of who we are is pure source intelligence. So what is consciousness <laughs> and how do we use it? So consciousness is the tool, it's the gift 
that we were given to become pure source intelligence. Consciousness is the part that we can use. It's a gateway between observation and becoming pure source intelligence. Once we are in observation of a program or programmed reality, even the observation of our own bodies, we have consciousness that can bridge that ob observation into this intelligence. Consciousness is the tool that we can use to become our innate being. And of course, we're going to experience consciousness in different ways. The more that this frequency is released into our body, the more that we will reach this consciousness. But this is a state of being. It is a frequency. I can see, you can see it like a ladder. The higher the ladder we go, the more intelligent we become. And the higher we go, the less we are in observation of the very loop we are all trying to break free from. Knowing what level of consciousness we're in is the biggest part of actually becoming 100% human potential. It is how we break the looping cycle of age and disease. It is how we break quantum physics. The first level of consciousness we will all experience over and over and over again. It's when we are just unconscious. <laughs> We're going to have this happen multiple times as we climb that ladder of becoming 100% human potential, source intelligence. But when we awaken to what it is that we're unconscious of, we create a choice. This is a very powerful place to be because once we know how we were living unconsciously, once we know that we are pure source intelligence, we have a choice. We can either keep living unconsciously or we can create something different. And this is what brings us in to the third level of consciousness. But this is also the level of consciousness that most of us get stuck in. I call this level the trying to make it happen. <laughs> because once we are awoken, once we know that we are living our lives in a way that we don't want to live, once we realize that we are pure self-intelligence, self we want to <coughs> become something different. We want to turn on 100% potential. We want to have the experience of what that's like. But then if we're trying to create something different from the same level of consciousness that we are in, it's really, really hard to do. But this is also the level of consciousness where observation can get in our way. Because the truth is, if we're still in observation, then we are still in the third level of consciousness. Even when we're observing the Akashic records, the quantum field, we are still in observation. And if we are observing something, we are still in the matrix. We are still observing the very looping cycle that we're trying to break free from. This brings us in to the fourth level of consciousness. The fourth level of consciousness is what I call the listen and do. But you can put whatever word there. If you sense, if you just know, if you see, but in this level of consciousness, that observation that there is new information coming in is very, very brief. That's when we are in observation that there is an intelligence beyond programmed reality. And then in that moment, we attune consciousness to the intelligence and we have the experience of that intelligence beyond observation altogether meaning we step into the intelligence and receive the information, and then we go and do it. We act upon it. But there is not a place in there where we're observing what is being created. We're just listening and doing. And then this brings us into the fifth level of consciousness. Once we truly master being in the fourth level of consciousness, we become pure source intelligence. 
when we eat, meet the fifth level of consciousness, we become the creator and the creation at the same time. Observation goes away and we truly begin to break quantum physics because we are living through an intelligence that's in pure expression. Just really listen to that word, pure expression. You could even put the word projection there. We're in projection of source intelligence. There is no observation. Observation does not exist. So how do we break quantum physics? We become pure source intelligence. We become the expression of pure source intelligence. And we break through all of the looping cycles that are within the matrix. 100% human potential is transcribed in the DNA. Every time that we want to go outside of ourselves to find the answer, we need to turn it around. I have a saying, turn everything inside out. Just turn it inside out. So every time that we say something, we take that and then we bring it to the expression of source frequency. <coughs> From that place, we can reimagine everything. We rediscover who we are when we are in our innate being. And everything does start to change. We change the looping cycles of the body, of the mind, the way we relate to other people. Because when we are in expression of pure source intelligence, it is a place of magic. It is a place where we find out just how powerful that we are, but it's a power that everybody has. It's a power that we all are here to experience. So why haven't we experienced it yet? Have you ever felt on an innate level that you should be able to heal instantly? But then when you go to do it, you can't. There's a reason for that. And the reason is because we are in observation of what was broken. But if we brought in, turned on that pure source intelligence, and then we use the place where we're observing that there is something that is off, that's out of balance, but then we immediately attune consciousness to the intelligence, because within that intelligence, everything is perfect. And when we do this over and over and over again, what begins to happen is that cells move out of the observation of its reality. Right now, epigenetics is a big topic. Epigenetics get turned on because of our environment, the environment of the body, the environment of the room. But when we bring the cell and we actually bring it into the intelligence that is stored on a DNA level, the cell moves out of the looping cycle and moves into expression. In expression, it is no longer looking outside of itself to, to know if it's in a good environment or not. It is just pure source intelligence. This brings the body into a completely different space of being and your consciousness gets to take the ride. So consciousness is the tool that we will all use to become 100% human potential. Would you like to experience DNA intelligence? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So if you would like to, I'm going to have you shut your eyes. And uh, if you want to uh, place your hands on your heart, you can do that as well. And then just taking in a deep breath. And as you're breathing in, seeing this rainbow light move up through the nose and having it trace along your brain and moving down through your spine and then out through the mouth. And this rainbow light holds seven elements that hold seven states of consciousness, bringing you into a zero point. And on the next breath, if you want to allow this light to enter into the mind, you can see it entering your heart, even going into the bloodstream as it enters every cell and every molecule of your body. 
And just notice as this light is entering your body that you begin to relax, your mind may slow down. And then bring your attention to the center of your physical brain. And you might see a little tiny blue light in the center of your brain. Go ahead and bring your consciousness into this light. And as soon as you enter the light, expand the light to encompass your entire brain, allowing your thought to move into zero point. And that will take you into the pineal gland where the ascended cell, this is the cell that is connected to that DMT, but we're connecting to the frequency today. And we'll move right into the nucleus of the cell right into the double helix and we'll turn on pure source intelligence and just by asking this intelligence begins to expand and as it's expanding it's moving out of the cell out of the pineal gland connecting to the frequency of dmt of pure source intelligence Noticing as this light moves into your brain that it's electrifying synapse responses that hold the ability to be conscious within this intelligence. Now feeling that same frequency moving down through your spinal fluid as it's activating very specific ions within the spinal fluid. You may feel it almost like a bubbling effect as this happens. And then this frequency is activated in every cell of the body. And as it's activated, it's connecting to a very specific form of water within your body called H3O2. And this water has an electricity to it. And this electricity has the ability to hold intelligence. So experiencing this electricity, it's almost like your body becomes an electric light show. And all of these beautiful frequencies begin to click together. And as they're clicking together, it's creating a, a grid system. And this grid system becomes your divine technology. It's the part of you that can exist as pure source intelligence in physical form. And now just breathing in, seeing yourself as this beautiful divine being. Now allow your consciousness to enter this being. Let, allow your consciousness to enter into this electric frequency. Allow your consciousness to meet pure source intelligence. And before you open your eyes, allow yourself to have this experience knowing that when you open your eyes with choice, you can see through this intelligence. You can hear through this intelligence and you can discover who you are as this intelligence. Now go ahead and open your eyes. And from this point forward, asking yourself, if I am pure source intelligence, how will I live my life? What choices will I make? How will I be thinking? And how will I be? This is the beginning of breaking quantum physics. Thank you. So the evolution technology is that symbol that you see on the bottles of the bioquantum skincare. And this is a trademarked uh, scalar technology, meaning that it has specific scalar waves and the way that the technology is working is what is creating 
the skincare line in a level that, as far as I know, is not out there currently. The way that the BioQuantum skincare line has been created is truly turning everything inside out. So it's shifting from observation into expression of those DMT codes. So what I have found is that there are 12 epigenetic codes that get turned on that create aging. And I'm not going to go through every single one of those codes, but I do want to show what the difference between talking about codes of the DNA within observation or in the scientific space and what it means to activate DMT codes or decoded molecular technology. So the DMT codes are the codes that are holding source intelligence or 100% human potential. Epigenetic codes are codes that get turned on over time that create aging. Dr. Sinclair even goes as far as to say that aging is epigenetics. So with that, I want to show you what the evolution technology is doing and why we all have the ability to not only turn off those epigenetic codes, but we have the ability to actually step in and start to experience 100% human potential through those DMT codes. So I'm gonna just right now, I'm gonna shift this over to show you how epigenetic codes get turned on. And then I'm also going to go into why the BioQuantum skincare line works as well as it does, because it truly is bridging science to cellular alchemy, or you could say science to alchemy, or science to the expression of decoded molecular technology or source intelligence. So right now, this is our little cell that we're going to play with. And when an epigenetic code gets turned on, so here is the DNA and this is the cell. And you could say that the cell right now is the environment of the DNA. So it's the house of the DNA. Well, then our body, and I'm not going to draw a big body up here, but our body is the environment of our cells. Well, what creates that environment? It is our thoughts, what we eat, how much we exercise, where, where we're living, but it's also what belief systems we're holding on a collective level and on a personal level. All of these things affect the environment that our cell is in. And how an epigenetic code gets turned on is when the environment of the cell is holding lower frequencies if you want to measure a frequency because each one of those 12 epigenetic codes also has a very specific frequency. So right now the DNA as it function is going outside the cell to feel into its environment. It is bringing information in from outside its environment into the cell. And then if those frequencies match, epigenetics get turned on. And when an epigenetic gets a code gets turned on, and these are specific codes, they're DNA codes, when those gets turned on, then we start to have things like cell mutation, <laughs> And then when the, the cell starts to divide, it continues to divide in a mutated space. Every time the cell divides, we have those little telomeres and the telomeres start to get shorter. Well, science is actually showing that we have the ability to not only lengthen our telomeres and start to reverse aging, but this is the part that I think is really interesting. The way that our cells are functioning right now are on a primal level. They are trying 
to survive. So what are they doing when they're testing their environment? They're trying to find out, am I safe? <laughs> How do I thrive? Is this environment going to support health and well-being? And if we have things like negative thoughts and negative belief systems, then of course that's going to affect if we're eating an unhealthy diet, of course that's going to affect all of these things that we know, um, you know, with those biohackers out there or those that have just been studying health and wellness for a really long time, know that all of these things are going to affect cell health. Now, when we start to shift this and turn it inside out, we begin to turn on those DMT codes. So the DMT codes are those 12 codes that are holding 100% human potential, 100% source intelligence. It's who you are at an innate level without any interruption. And when we shift the cell into identifying as the codes, versus its environment, everything starts to change. So I'm going to erase this and show you what happens. So I'm just going to show the DNA. So when we start to add the evolution technology into our life on a daily basis through the bioquantum skincare line, we are absorbing a very specific scalar wave or waves that are creating a state of consciousness, but they also are delivering 12 very specific frequencies. And those frequencies are connected to 12 DNA codes that are in on the epigenetic, or not the epigenetic level, but on the DMT level, meaning they're the dormant codes, however you wanna see codes, in the DNA. So when we start to shift the cell from identifying the outside, bringing in information, and then all of a sudden it moves into a specific space. So now I'm gonna show you how this actually happens. So you're gonna see right behind me, we're gonna start with this one right here. So this is the very first frequency of the evolution technology. And we call this the luminous or the loo. But what this frequency does is that it unhooks from the, the cell from the environment and it brings it into this space right here, right where the epigenetics are, are, are turned on or any kind of genetic code that's already coded but it brings it into a very specific space of no space and no time, meaning it brings it into one of those DMT codes, that source intelligence. Then the second symbol that we call the scalar, which is this one right here that kind of looks like a tree, allows consciousness to be held in that very specific code that DMT code. Then the last symbol, which is right here, allows that code to move into expression. So when the code moves into expression, the energy goes out. And now all of a sudden, the DNA and the cell are no longer identifying with the energy outside of itself, but identifying in the frequency of an intelligence that is beyond programmed reality, the programmed body. It is in our innate being or 100% human potential. So there are 12 DMT codes that we can turn on to have this experience. When we start to use the bioquantum skincare and we are extremely conscious in how we are experiencing it and whether we're experiencing it on the level that I just showed you or not, it's already being done for you because it's a delivery system.
It is a delivery system. So every single time, morning and night, that you're applying this technology through a skincare line that is extremely advanced, and I want to talk a little bit about that, you are absorbing this exact technology that I just showed you. And it starts to, over time, allow your cells to shift out of identifying with this environment and to start identifying in those DMT codes and intelligence beyond programmed reality. But what also is happening is that the cells in the DNA are no longer observing their environment. The observation moves into the intelligence and the cells just become pure intelligence. Well, what happens when you remove observation? Timelines diminish. And if the cell is no longer observing and no longer creating a timeline, you can imagine what would happen to the human body. We no longer age. So no, lo no longer are we experiencing cell mutation because when the cell actually turns on these 12 codes, we start to experience what life is like at 100% human potential. And when we do that, we are no longer observing and the cells are no longer observing. So cells no longer divide because there's no reason to divide because their environment becomes perfect. So there's no reason to be in that primal response to its environment in order to survive. When the cell is in 100% of the intelligence of those DMT codes, it truly is an expression. And in expression, we bypass observation, we bypass timelines, and we bypass the very thing, observation, that is creating timelines of age and disease. So this is breaking quantum physics. For those of you that know what breaking quantum physics is, we break quantum physics by breaking out of the observation of not only the quantum field, but of the very environment that we exist within. So the bioquantum skincare line was created to work with the cells on a scientific level as well. So we actually partnered with a company in Canada that have formulated these products with us, and they are considered a med science line. And this is our advanced line. The reason that we chose to work with the company in Canada is that the FDA there actually monitors their skincare very, very closely. And for a skincare line to be seen as health grade, the FDA will actually go in and test it to make sure that the ingredients are at a level that you can consider it healthcare. And so every ingredient in these products is working with the cells so that as they're starting to shift from observation of the environment, that the ingredients themselves are actually supporting healthy cell division so that those epigenetic codes start to turn off so that you can start seeing the results of what that's like. And then when your cell actually starts to raise in frequency, those DMT codes can turn on and actually hold the frequency for longer periods of time because the cell has already been shifted into a healthy state. So what does that mean? Well, that means it, the ingredients are doing things like boosting mitochondria health. They're uh, those free radicals, scavengers, all of those things that do start to de diminish our skin over time. I mean, one of the first things that we start to recognize as our skin starts to age 
is it starts to get a little creepy. We start to get those fine lines. So we may start to feel the droopiness in the skin and all of the things that we would consider aging are things that we target through the skincare line. One of my favorite ingredients in the Scalar 33 is it's an actual technology. And so what we've done, so the technology itself works with putting little spheres on each layer of the skin to hold moisture. So what we've done, once we have that technology, you could say on a scientific level, what we've done is then added in that the technology that I just taught you, but also through this, the scalar wave of the symbol is inside each of those spheres, we've put the technology so that your skin is holding the technology on each layer, but then it's also holding the spheres that are holding in moisture, but they're also creating a plumping effect. You can imagine if your skin, the layers of your skin have these little spheres, it's gonna start to plump and push out the layers of your skin so that you get more of well, that elastin and collagen production that allows your skin to look more plump, more youthful and glowing. I would say the Scalar 33 is definitely our superstar product in skincare. And then combining that with a Scalar 3, 33 activator really creates, I'm going to say, that there's just nothing else out there like it because adding Ormus to the technology of the skincare amplifies everything. So for those of you that may not know what Ormus is, it's orbited rearranged monoatomic element. It is an element that's in a spin state and because it's in a spin state, it has the ability to bring life force energy into the skin, into your body, into your energy field in a way that is truly multidimensional. So how the Ormus works is that it's working through the technology, the evolution technology. So it is delivering those DMT codes consistently because of the spin state that it's been created in. So every single time that, that the frequency of the Ormus, so why, why they call it a spin state, is you can see it when you look at it under a microscope, you can tell, okay, this is going to be the element of copper, or this is gonna be the element of silica. And then as soon as the, you're about to see what it's going to be, it disappears. And then it comes back. Well, where does it go? That's why they call it the fifth dimensional element, is it actually moves out of this dimension and then comes back. So each time that that happened, it's bringing that DMT code back into the DNA. You can see it just set... It moves out into the fifth dimension and then it moves back in. And each time it's triggering that scalar wave to turn on that DNA code so that the cell can be held in that frequency. Well, the other thing it's doing is that it's teaching the cells in the body that it also has the ability to shift in and out of form. So it's no longer identifying in something solid but is identifying in a frequency. And that frequency is the intelligence of those DMT codes. When that happens again, we really start to experience what it is to be superhuman or 100% human potential.